It's no secret that we've all been in the situation where we overly estimate the comforting, optimistic, and idealistic narrative of our reliance and faith, and underly estimate the consequential, unfortunate, and shocking narrative of our worries or trepidations. The wider the gap between your idea of conceivable expectations and the objective, practical, or functioning reality that presents itself before your five senses, the greater the disappointment and eventually the vividly unforgiving and unempathetic realization will be. As I've said before, human beings need to believe in something to serve as a beacon of guidance, security, and aspiration for a better life or a better existence, for both concurrently and in the future. And these beliefs can present themselves in many different forms, whether they are a collective political movement, a form of religious practice, a conditioned perspective, a philosophical twist, a utilitarian collection of artistry, a figure of supremacy and absolution, or even a symbolic artifact. Whatever they are, we feel the need to rely on them in order to assist us in traversing this chaotic and unpredictable world through providing us with some form of feasible or dependable structure and order so we can feel autonomically sound. However, we can't control everything. Nature or reality has its own way of doing things, and more often than not, it's not always pleasant for the tremendous amount of ego investments that we have over our hardened beliefs and perspectives that solely prioritize our mental contentment and tranquility. Not all beliefs, narratives, and ideals maintain their loyalty and humility towards reality. What we often believe that the desired effect should be in correlation with the irrational causation that we apply, the result will always be in contradiction of the narrative or belief that we've sold ourselves to. Simply because we choose to ignore or reject the basic objective functioning of cause and effect. All because they create a vividly disturbing dispute within our beliefs. Basically, in plain English, whatever outcome you affirm yourself to happen or manifest themselves didn't happen or happen in the complete opposite of what you expect, all because you ignore or disregard the nature of rationality due to how their evaluation, contradiction, and lack of consolation will hurt your feelings. Few examples such as those people who believe that peace is completely absolute and cannot ever be broken or overcome by warfare. People who believe that visual or physical attractiveness has nothing to do with how well you are treated by others. And people who believe that metaphysical and enigmatic forces are the ones solely dictating every action this world takes, including its inhabitants. The more subjectively romantical, impractical, and fantastical the ideals, dreams, and hopes that have been sold or administered within a person's mind are, the more pretentious, hypocritical, deranged, and far-fetched that person's expectations will be. Why? Because again, that person will always look up to those ideals, hopes, and dreams as a collective beacon of inspiration, guidance, and manifestation of the person he or she wants to eventually portray, and the life he or she wants to eventually live. Every form of aspirations that is successfully induced will always translate to an elevated level of expectations or longing towards those aspirations coming true. Affirmations with complete disregard for rationality, critique, and empiricism is the beginning of every delusion. And there is no better example to practically explain and witness this yourself than the world of social media. Now if you're asking me, how can we prevent this delusional attitude or perspective from taking over our lives, the answer is actually very simple. Never go overboard with your own dose of optimism. Always maintain a respectable level of humility with some touch of skepticism. Or, if you gentlemen want a more practical solutions, don't overconsume social media and don't overconsume success porn contents. Why? Because what they are, more often than not, are glorified and escalated perspectives utilized to capture and retain attention for as long as possible. All the highlights without any or disregarding any of the minor disproportions. I mean, you gentlemen know how marketing works. They greatly amplify your perception and interpretation, often verging into a wondrous and outlandish manner in order to get you into visualizing the absolute best case scenario or whatever it is that is presented in front of you. Remember, aspirations and expectations have a linear relationship. Now having said all of that, and this may sound counterintuitive initially, possessing some form of delusion is not at all entirely detrimental towards an individual. From another perspective, providing that you know how to apply them properly and strategically and in the right or optimal circumstances, it can actually benefit you rather well. For example, having self-belief is actually often borderline delusional, believe it or not. You have that ruthless objectivity mixed with some disoriented illusion of aristocracy or mysticality. That is why we often imagine ourselves as kings and warriors of the medieval times following a strict disciplinary code with an unbridled level of tenacity when we are about to perform a massively difficult task. 
However, it is necessary for most of us to instill that quote-unquote larger-than-life narrative in order to objectively assist us in building our self-assurance so that we are able to perform at a high level with minimal inconsistencies. Some people may say that in order to experience actual happiness, it requires a certain level of delusion because we human beings want to experience the greater good or the finer things in life in some metaphysical way if we are unable or yet to be able to directly experience it. And they may have a factual point because we like to visualize things and pretentiously imagine that we are living the life that we want. But of course, you and me know that this isn't optimally preferable or sustainable. You must never lose your touch with reality and how ruthlessly objective and disregarded regarding they can be. Because as your deluded expectation becomes too big to neutralize, the displeasure and dissatisfaction that comes with the cognizance of your impracticality will also be monumental enough to remove you completely from any form of optimism and ultimately hope. Thank you for watching.